Welcome to another lesson using the uh, blues and E minor pentatonic. The blues are such a integral part of any kind of rock or um, rhythm guitar thing that it's fun to be able to explore it in a bunch of different ways. This way today is going to be fun because we're mainly going to be using one finger. That would be finger number one. So if you were doing ninja sounds, that would just be so that's all you need today to play this. And what we're doing, because we're playing in the, the key of A, we're basically playing the notes that are going to go with the E chord, the A chord, and the B7 chord. So to play that, we're going to take finger number one. We're going to start out on s string number six, which is this one at the top. And we're going to start out by playing the string open. And then, so which means you're just going to hit it without pressing anything down. Then we're going to put our first finger on the fifth fret, uh, the fifth fret, which is the second dot. There you go, so you can see the rest of the neck. Then you're going to play the open string again. Oops, I lied. And then you're going to play the uh, third fret, which is the first dot. And then you're going to play the open string. Open, open, doing that heartbeat thing. See, so, you know, that sounds like a heartbeat. One, and two, and three. So it's going to be that kind of thing. So we're starting out, open string, fifth fret, second dot, third fret, first dot, open, 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 fifth fret, third fret, open, 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 open. So that'll be our pattern when we're working on the uh, E chord. When we play the A chord, we're going to go to the fifth string. So remember, this is string number one, string number six again. So the fifth string is right here. And we're going to do exactly the same pattern, but on the fifth string. So we're going to start out on the open A string, the fifth string. And then we're going to play the fifth fret, fifth fret, third fret, open, 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 <laughs> open, open. And then we're going to go back over to the, so we'll do that two times when we actually start working on it. And then we're going to go back over and play on the sixth string the same thing two times. So be open, fifth fret, third, open, 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 fifth fret, third, open, 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 open. And so to keep it simpler, when we'd normally be going to our, uh, B7 chord, what we're going to do is we're going to just play the B note, which is on the fifth string on the second fret. So you put your first finger there, and these we're going to play with a triplet feel, which means we'd be counting in threes instead. So we'd go one and a two and a three and a four and a... Just not too bad. And then that same string open, that's the fifth string open, one and a two and a three and then we stop there because then we need to go back over to the e and play the sixth string open fifth fret third open 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 okay so see how that works so what i'll do is i'll um now play it going all the way through, excuse me, while I readjust. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to play the pattern. So remember, we'll be playing four times through on the E, on the sixth string, two times through on the fifth string, back to uh, two times through on the sixth string, then that pesky B7. That, so we're playing the B note on the fifth string on the second fret. Then the A string open, which is a fifth string open, and then back over to the E string. Okay, so I'll kind of walk us through it. Here we go. One, two, three on the sixth string. Open five, three, open, 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 open again. Open five, three, open, 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 open again. Open five, three, open. Open, 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 open. One more set. Open, five, three, open, 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 open. Now switching over to the A, the fifth string. Open, five, three, open, 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 
open, open, open, five, three, open, 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 and back to the sixth string, open, five, three, open, 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 five, three, open, 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 and then we're getting ready to go to the B7, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a Remember that was the fifth fret, I mean the second fret on the fifth string, and then open string on the fifth string, one and a two and a three, and then back to the E string, open five, three, open, 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 five, three, open, 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 open. Okay, so that's the basic pattern. This also works, this is a great thing if you're playing the guitar version, the, the little fancy schmancier version. You can have a bass player play this or you can have a second guitar player play this too and it works really well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go ahead and play through that with less blah blah so you can use it as a practice play along track. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, open five, three, open. set on the E string. So now we're on the fifth string. Back to the sixth string. And then two more of those. And then B on the fifth string in the second fret. And then back to Okay, I'm just I'm just call out the chords. Okay, so we'll Okay, so this time I'm just gonna call out the chords and you're on your own for being able to remember all that other stuff. Here we go. One, two, three. over again. 